Welcome back to Let's Play God Hand. This is Kung Fu Jesus. This is Medibot. And my name is Kaz. And Great Sensei is about to have his revenge, apparently. Wait, Great Sensei? Great Sensei. I thought the, the guy you just fought was... No, that's Samurai Jones, and hmm. he's the student of... Well, you'll see in a second. Don't be so cocky. Just because you defeated my student. You all right? Prepare to experience my secret technique. This guy, right here. He is yeah. very cool, but very hard if you are afraid of fighting dudes up close. You have to be up close, because he has way more range than you. Uh... <clears throat> Yeah, aside from the fact that he's what, eight or nine feet tall, you know, it's a sword his size. Ugh. Yeah, he has an enormous sword. Uh, he says sort of King of Fighters esque quotes, like uh, "Swift as the forest," uh, "Fierce like fire," and stuff like that. But basically, you have to just get close and hit him. And most of his attacks can actually be done uh, high dodge. <clears throat> Like, that one is, uh, that's a high dodge. Um, the moves that sort of look like he's aiming at your stomach, where he's sort of stabbing, those are all high, believe it or not. It's the ones where he does the jumping, like, down slash, and those, those. He also splits into multiple copies of himself, each one with the power of the original. It, it's, it's hard. You can tell the original by the fact that it has a shadow and the others don't. It's a very, very subtle difference. Uh, That's pretty incredible, in fact. So he's using a like, mind control. He has, like, you know, shadow copies yeah. that themselves do not have shadows. Well, I mean, mo that, that's a pretty standard uh, fifth dawn technique in combat Nisendo. Oh, it, I never read that, so I never... I didn't get up to fifth dawn, I got to the third. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if you try to guard break him, and he... You know, and he's not guarding, he does that thing where he comes and tries to bisect you from hip to shoulder. Alright. That oh, symbolizes that, yeah. Oh, okay. And I like to just sort of use the god hand on him. What you can also do is throw pots, and then we'll kill them in one hit. That's what you save the pots for. And I don't use it in this in this fight because it's really not useful, because it does no damage, but the umbrella over there can be pulled out and used uh, to hit him. And that's it about the fight. I don't know, this fight... All you have to do is hit, treat him like a normal samurai. And they just gave me a three, a three shroom attack card, so I think I'm just going to use it unnecessarily, waste it, in fact, because I got nothing better to do with the orbs. Like that one, you have to side dodge. And all his 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 sword is sharp, and sharp things in this game tend to dizzy you very easily, so. Yeah, yeah, everything he does is going to dizzy you. Not everything, most things are going to dizzy you. And let's just take care of him with a little bit of the Shaolin Blast. <laughs> oh no. Overkill much? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah! just hit him with a giant hand. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Oh. And that's it. That's, that's, the, that's it. Goodbye. See you next time.